The Master Kent range of biodiesel processors makes the production of small and medium volumes of biodiesel a realistic alternative to conventional diesel fuels. Bringing biodiesel production within everyone's reach. With Freddy, our self-contained fuel flask, processing of small volumes of biodiesel on your own premises becomes a reality, producing up to 500 litres per week. And with no duty to pay on the first 2,500 litres produced annually at each location, you could quickly be on the way to saving over £2,200 a year, more so if you team up with friends, colleagues and neighbours. Our larger batch processors can produce up to 3,000 litres of crude biodiesel in a day. And now we have fully automated versions of these larger batch processors, saving you time and even more money. The short video sequence that follows outlines this batch production process. But first, let's quickly consider the chemistry involved in making biodiesel from the waste vegetable oil or coal press seeds. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. The technical term is called transesterification. That's a long word for a relatively simple process, which means mixing two chemicals, methanol and sodium hydroxide, with the vegetable oil. This mixture causes glycerin to detach and separate out from the oil, leaving biodiesel. Glycerin makes vegetable oil thick and sticky. By removing it, we reduce the viscosity of the oil. Right, let's look at the stages involved in producing biodiesel from vegetable oil using the Master Kent system. The oil to be converted is transferred into a preheating tank and warmed to 40 degrees centigrade. This aids the chemical process and lets any contaminating water fall out. Before the process can begin, the amount of chemicals to be used must be determined. Clean vegetable oil may require fewer chemicals, and dirty used vegetable oil may require more. Other systems perform a critical titration test which analyzes the source oil but can introduce chemical errors. The Kent Master System simplifies the process by avoiding a titration test altogether and uses a fixed ratio of the two chemicals which will convert between 95 and 98 percent of all oils going through the process, leaving less room for chemical errors. Any unconverted oil is removed later in the washing machine, but we'll get to that later. Okay, with personal safety equipment on, both chemicals are transferred into the empty stainless steel generator vessel. Then compressed air is blown through the mixture to help dissolve the sodium hydroxide pearls into the methanol. Next, the preheated vegetable oil is transferred into the generator vessel and the mixture is stirred for 30 to 45 minutes while the temperature is raised to approximately 50 degrees centigrade. Then the mixture is transferred into a settling tank to separate into layers of crude biodiesel and glycerin. Initial separation occurs after a few minutes. Eventually there will be a clear separation between the crude biodiesel and the darker glycerin layer below. Next, the glycerin layer is drained off for use in compost production or for waste collection. Then the remaining crude biodiesel is transferred into a washing machine to remove contaminants and any remaining production chemicals. There are two ways of washing the crude biodiesel, wet washing and dry washing. For small scale producers, wet washing offers the optimal solution where the crude biodiesel is actually washed with warm water, patience and gravity. Alternatively, for higher volumes of production, there's the dry wash Magnesol system providing quick and effective washing, eliminating production bottlenecks. Finally, after a successful wet or dry washing cycle, clean biodiesel is transferred to a dispensing tank ready for use. So in a nutshell, that's preheat the pure or waste vegetable oil, mix the chemicals, add the oil to the chemicals in the generator and mix, Transfer into a holding tank for the separation of the glycerin. Drain off glycerin. Wet or dry wash the crude biodiesel. Polish if required. And relax. 
Transesterification, it's easy. Environmentally friendly fuel from renewable materials. The economically viable alternative to conventional diesel fuel.